We are on page 62. This is the guided practice. And the beginning of the page says find the equivalent fraction or decimal for each number. So it's kind of like that number line thing. In fact, a lot of these are on the number line. Uh, this first one, for example, 0 0.6. Uh, you, you're supposed to say 6 tenths, and then a lot of kids are going to want to write 6 tenths. But if you went to the number line, uh, back on page, I'm going to look it up, it's page 59. If you went back to the number line on page 59, you'll recognize that 6 tenths simplifies to 3 fifths. So while both answers are okay, 3 fifths is better, so I'm going to put a line through that one. Uh, one fourth of a dollar is 25 cents, so that means that one fourth is equal to 0 0.25. Nine tenths, it doesn't simplify, so if you can say nine tenths, you can write nine tenths. Number four is one tenth. Number five is three tenths. We've had three in a row that wouldn't simplify. Oh, I. I wrote, they gave me 3 tenths, and then I wrote 3 tenths, and what I needed to write was 0 0.3. Sorry about that. All right, number 6. 1.4 is really the same thing as 0 0.4, and if I had 0 0.4, I'd go to my number line, and I would look at 0 0.4, and I would notice that 0 0.4 is equal to 2 fifths. Originally, it's equal to um, 4 tenths, but that simplifies to 2 fifths. And then the 1 is the whole number. So what I do is I do the 4 tenths as a decimal, and then I add the whole number right there. So it's 1 and 2 fifths. 4 fifths is the same as, look at your number line, it's 0 0.8. That is on your number line on page 59. Uh, 0 0.4, that's the same thing as number 6 here. 0 0.4 is 2 fifths. Uh, the only difference here is that it's 0 0.4, so I, I, I could put a whole number 0 here. I don't need to. I could. Um, but number 8 and number 6 are practically the same problem. This one's 1 and 2 fifths, and this one's just 2 fifths. And then 9, you won't find this on the number line because 6 and 8 simplify. So the first step in number 9 is to uh, divide by the common factor of 2. Since 6 is divisible by 2 and 8 is divisible by 2, I simplify that to 3 fourths. Now that's not my answer. Uh, that's just the fraction simplified. Then what I do is ask myself, how much is 3 fourths? Well, that's kind of like uh, number 2, which is 1 fourth. 1 fourth of a dollar is 25 cents. 3 fourths of a dollar is 3 quarters. That's 75 cents. So the answer is 0 0.75. So I will cross that off because that's not the answer I'm looking for. If you got those nine answers, good job. If not, please fix them. And let's move on. Okay, we are on numbers 10 and 11. Number 10 reads, use the number line to order the fractions and decimals from least to greatest. So I've got four terms here, and 0 and 75 hundredths would be right in between 0 and 70 and 0 and 80. So that first one goes here, and that one's going to be 0 and 75. And then I've got one half, and I know that's equivalent to 0 0.5, so there's a half right there. And I've got 4 tenths, that goes right here. And I've got 1 fifth. Now, 1 fifth isn't on here, so you're going to want to go back to the number line. And if you went back to page 59, you would know that 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2. And that's definitely one you're going to want to memorize. 0 0.2 would be right here. That's a fifth. And so now I have least to greatest. That's what it said. Order them from least to greatest. Least is farthest to the left. So farthest to the left there is 1 fifth. Comma, then I've got uh, 0 and 4 tenths. Comma, and then I've got 1 half. And last I've got 0 and 75 hundredths. Least to greatest. There you go. All right, number 11. <coughs> number 11 reads, the table shows the lengths of fish caught by three friends at the lake last weekend. Write the length in order from greatest to least. All right, so let's go ahead and analyze these just a little bit. We've got 12 and 12 and 12. So the whole numbers are all the same, but now I've got a decimal and two fractions. Uh, one thing I could do is convert the, um, the decimal into a fraction, and it would be 7 tenths. The problem with that is that I have 7 tenths. I'd have tenths as a denominator, and fifths as a denominator, and fourths as a denominator. I don't know if that's the easiest way. It might be. I'm not sure. Uh, or I could convert the other ones to a decimal. I think that might be just a little bit easier. For example, Emily's is really pretty easy. 
Uh, if you have now memorized that uh, 3 fourths is equal to 75, then you know that Emily is going to be 12.75. And do you have 3 fifths memorized yet? Go back to page 59. 3 fifths is equal to 0 0.6. So if 3 fifths is equal to 0 0.6, then 12 and 3 fifths is equal to 12.6. Now I have 12.7, 12.6, and 12.75. And uh, you should notice that this one is to the hundredths place, and these two are to the tenths place. So I'm immediately going to annex a 0 and make it 12 and 70 hundredths. 12 and 60 hundredths, 12 and 75 hundredths. Now I have all my numbers are in decimals, and they're all to the hundredths place. I'm going to go back and reread number 11. It says to the from the greatest to the least. Well, the greatest is 12 and 75 hundredths. And I'm not going to write 12.75 because remember, we always write the numbers that were originally given to us. So I'm going to write 12 and 3 fourths, comma, and then what's greater? 70 is greater than 60, so second will be 12.7, and third will be 12 and 3 fifths. That was greatest to least. Okay, this is going to, we're going to pause, stop this video here, and I'm going to make a new video for the bottom of the page, just so this video isn't too long.